Hey guys, I wanted to do an everyday tutorial on my makeup. Um, I haven't done kind of one of these before, um, but I'll be showing you some things that I'm going to be possibly using. My concealer, oh my gosh, this thing is broken. Um, my concealer is in a package like this thing. I can't lift mine up because this little, I have two of these, but it's, it has different stuff. And one of my little things that, like, one of these little blushes broke, and it's just, like, all shattery everywhere, as you guys can see. But I have two concealers right here, and I have a light one and a medium one, and I, I use the medium one every day. Um, but I, when I get this cleaned up, I'll show you guys a little bit better, but it's really a mess right now. But I'm going to show you, like, my everyday tutorial look, but on a certain color. I'm going to do the color that I'm wearing. This is, like, a violet kind of reddish color. Um, I did it this morning. I did it with this Ulta. Um, the, all these little things are from Ulta. Um, they came with this little kind of makeup bag. My mom, my aunt, um. Uh, Oh my god, cousin gave it to me. I'll be using like this color and like just some kind of blacks and stuff. Um, I have bronzer and stuff. All right, so the first step I do is let me get this. Oh. I use Donna Michelle Light Number One Makeup Foundation, and this is actually from a dollar store. So you guys have dollar store for a dollar, and it works great. And mine is still. I've been having this ever for like five months already. Like it's great, and it's still fill all the way up to here. Um, but yeah, so it's liquid. So I'm just gonna squeeze some on the top of my hand. Not a lot, just some just to cover up some certain spots. I'm gonna put on three um foundations today, but this one is easy. Just I'm just gonna spread it out. I know it's gonna look weird because it's gonna look light because it's light number one, but that's okay. It won't be light once you spread it. Hopefully, usually. I spread this every day. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread it like a daily cream. It's kind of like a cream, um, but not really. So I'm just like spreading that out till it doesn't look so light and blah. Now the forehead. Alright, I just like want to put my hair up, so excuse me. Um when I put my hair up, I just like normally grab it. Um sometimes I don't have a clip anywhere, so then I'll just like hold it or something if I'm doing something, but I'm just gonna keep it back like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take an LA Colors from also from Dollar Store. And this one is probably my best foundation. Uh, LA Colors Liquid Makeup. It looks like this. And it's almost used because it was it's a pump. And it was all the way down here and now it's all the way up here. So I'm going to go get more. But um, I was going to put that on my hand also. Put my hand clean, clean on my towel here. And I'm just going to put some on here. And I'm gonna get my makeup brush. My makeup brush, well, it's not a foundation brush, it's a kabuki, and it's from Maybelline New York. And I think it came with something, but I don't know. But I'm just gonna like spread this in my hand in kind of oh, orderly way. Now I'm just gonna spread it everywhere. It's gonna look weird at first because it's liquid, but. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. These brushes kind of hurt, so. It's got some foundation on my lips. Alright. So with the rest. Whoa. Sorry. With the rest of the foundation that I have here, I'm going to take it and. Put it underneath my eyes. I know it's not concealer, but it's like kind of like a base for me. And then I'll put the concealer on top. It's just for my dark circles because this foundation really works for dark circles. So. Oh, and by the way, the makeup that I'm using, um, it doesn't have a number. 
maybe it's because I can't see right now. It's from by Beauty Cosmetics. I don't know, but okay. All right, let me just get this towel, the corner here, and wipe this off. Okay. So now. Just making sure my eyes okay. All right, now I'm gonna put on my concealer. It's this really medium because my skin isn't light. So I have my concealer. I'm just gonna put it under these here. Okay. Let me get my kabuki. And spread it. Okay. okay. Kind of got some in my eye, but okay. So we're just gonna go and spread that out. Sometimes I get stuff in my eyes, so just gotta take it out. Okay. After that, we're gonna take a eyeshadow. I don't have any primer right now, so I'm just gonna take an eyeshadow. It's downstairs in my mom's room. Every day she locks her room for a certain reason, which I can't say. So I'm not going to really do that. I'm going to take my professional eyeshadow brush. And I don't know the name of it. But I got this from Rue 21 with my little pack here. Which came with the mascara, the eyeliner, and everything. But I don't know why I still have the box. I just like the packaging. Alright. So I'm taking this kind of dark color right here. I know it's not really this color. But I'm going to blend it in Whoa, with this really light um purple that are two right here so the um dark purple goes on first on your eyelid Sometimes I hate when this stuff smudges like that. So I'll show you guys how to fix it. And I did a mistake on purpose. So I can show you guys how to fix it. Don't ever do this mistake. I did that on purpose so I can show you guys how to fix it. If you guys... My brush is here. Oh, and I'll be doing a makeup collection soon. Okay, if you guys have a smudge. This one has never been used before, but I have seven. If you guys have a smudge, get a smudge. You can wet it. Or you can, like, if it's clean, you can fix it. And it comes right off because it's a smudge. And usually this is what most people put their foundation, um, foundation, uh, eyeshadow on with because it don't smudge anything. And it definitely cleans up really good. So I'm just going to just gonna clean it up here. And of course, saliva is always the best. Not really, though. Okay. After that... I'm gonna get now my angle brush is downstairs, but that's fine. I'm gonna get the light one and kind of put it in my crease. So kind of going in my crease here, so it's like really cool. But so it's in my crease now, so it looks way better. Alright, after I put in my crease, after that, I'm going to blend it. Okay, but take that out. Now, blend it. Blend it with the corner, and after, I'm going to keep blending with the part? corner. So, yeah, I'm going to keep blending with the corner, and now I'm going to clean up my corners. Alright, 
after that, it's time for mascara. Oh wait, brow gel. So I'm using this brow gel. I don't know what the name of it is called because, you know, the thing fell off. So, where's my brush? Well, actually, I'm not going to do brow gel because after this, I'm just going to take it off. I'm using an e.l.f. Um, eyelash curler. And I'm going to just put this thing on. Kind of curl my lashes. I'm not gonna put on mascara. Well, mascara tech. I'm gonna put on my clear mascara. Um, a lot of people are saying this is brow gel. I haven't used it as brow gel. And I said I was gonna use my brow gel. And I'm sorry I said that because I don't have editing in this video. I'm gonna use my clear mascara. I think I don't know what this is. Uh, I think there's such a thing as clear mascara, but um. You guys can let me know what this is. And I'm just going to put it over my eyes because I'm not going to use black mascara. And I wasn't even supposed to do this makeup tutorial because I didn't want to. Um, tomorrow morning, today is March 25th. Wow. 26th. Um, tomorrow morning, while I'm getting ready for school, I will be doing a video. And I'll be doing a video on my tutorial. And more often I'm going to do that, but my camera sucks at filming. So, let's get this. Oh my gosh, it sucks at filming. And this is not what it looks like in real life. In real life, it looks way better. Um, I'm going to ask for a camera recorder for, I don't know, some special holiday is going to come up. But it looks way better in real life. And for my lips... Um, I would just technically use some kind of pink kind of color like that or something but I haven't used any of these yet because I'm planning on giving it to um, some to um, growing pink sparkles because we have not used them yet as you can see but they're just out of their wrappers because we wanted to see the color but this one was used a lot as you guys can definitely see it's not shiny so I'm just gonna put that over and this these I'm just putting that over I love this one. These are from Avon, and it's from the Glazewear Shine Lip Gloss Collection. It's like that. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and tomorrow I will get, you guys will get ready with me, um, tomorrow morning, and I'm going to be waking up at 7, and I will definitely do this video, and, um, after I do it, sorry, I'm just cleaning my hair because um, I comb my hair every night. Uh, after I do it, I will be leaving the school, and um, I'm going to have to be kind of quick on this stuff, but I will sh show you how I straighten my hair, um, and I will show you the way that I do it, and I'll show you how I do my makeup, which I already showed you, but that was for a specific color, and I'm going to do it for a different color, and I'm just going to show you like a whole different kind of thing. Um, better um i'm gonna show you guys after this video right now i'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup collection well not yet though but i will get to it bye guys thank you for watching hope you guys had an amazing day and catch up with me tomorrow morning bye